All right, so now we're ready to get started on the project. Let's hop over to Aptana. And uh, again, if you're not familiar with Aptana, check out the videos I mentioned in the previous video uh, on how to set up Aptana. Uh, I'm doing everything on my local server, but if you need to set it up to do a remote um, with your hosting company, that's in that video too. Right now I just have the uh, readme file from GitHub up uh, and I'll be replacing that here in a second with the project. So let's create a new project. Now you'll see, don't be confused here, this is, uh, this is the master version from GitHub that I'm going to be using as a reference for myself. But we're going to come up and create a new project. So file, new, PHP project. And I'm just going to call mine tracker. Quick finish. And we're just going to come through here. I'm going to use this as a reference here. And we're going to create these files that are in the build folder. So right click on tracker or whatever you called the project. Click new file. And the first one's going to be called Adam dot tracker dot JS. And now I'm going to get this readme out of here. And let's just go down the list. So tracker new file data dot JSON new file functions dot PHP new file index dot PHP and the last one new file log dot PHP. Now yours should have all opened up here. I have a second uh, panel over there that you can't see. So I'm going to drag all mine over here into view. Okay, so now we have all of our files created and we can get to work. Let's start with our index file. Now we're going to need to build out a normal HTML5 template. So first we need to put our doc type in, which is just HTML. Then on the next line, we need to do our HTML tags. Get yourself some room. Do our head tag. And underneath that, we'll do our body tag. And we'll go ahead and save that. Now we'll put some of the uh, basic information in here, like a title. And that goes up in the head. Again, I'm, I'm hoping you're kind of familiar, you're at least a little familiar with HTML um, coming into this so you, you know what we're doing. And we'll just call this atom.tracker. And just temporarily, we will put in the body here, atom.tracker. And we'll save that and head over to your browser. And if you're using your own local server, um, put in the path to your project up here in the URL. If you're using a remote server, put in your domain name and, and wherever you need to go to get to that. For me, it's localhost slash dev slash tracker. And you'll see we have our Adam tracker in the body and our title tag. And this is just to make sure that our, our page is set up. Let's go ahead and let's load up our resource. I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the body. All right, and go ahead and save this. Now hop back over to our page, hit refresh. So you'll see the word test here, and you'll see it's a serif font. So what we need to do now is we need to get the bootstrap and put that in. So we're going to start putting our external resources in. Hop over to getbootstrap.com, click on getting started, and you'll see the CDN links here that we talked about earlier. We're just going to go ahead and take this first one. So copy this. Even grab the uh, comment there. Copy that. Control C. Hop over here. And underneath the title here in the head, let's go ahead and put that in. And you'll see mine doesn't jet all the way across the screen like yours might. That's because I turned on word wrap. So if you want to right click and hit word wrap, uh, go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and tab this out to be in line here. Now let's test this out. Hit save. Now the reason I had you put this H1 tag in is just so we can test to make sure Bootstrap's running. So refresh and you should see the font change. Perfect. All right, let's hop over to getbootstrap.com again. 
and we're going to skip this theme here. We're not going to use that. Um, but let's come down here and get the JavaScript. So this last one down here. Copy this, head over to our project. And we're going to put this down here at the uh, bottom of the page. Um, in some of our projects, we load the JavaScript at the top. And this one we're going to load at the bottom. So down here towards the uh, closing body tag, hit paste. And again, I'm going to tab this out. Clean this up. All right, save that. Now we need to get jQuery. Go to jQuery.com, click on download. Scroll down to you see CDNs, which you've got these here, or you can do it down here at Google and these other ones. Let's go ahead and just copy this right here, this first one. Now we want to make sure this is above our Bootstrap JavaScript because Bootstrap runs jQuery and it needs to have JavaScript loaded first. So we'll go ahead and paste that here and maybe just make a comment. All right, so that's in there. Now we need to grab Font Awesome, which, which just like Bootstrap, if you go to Font Awesome's website, uh, which you can find up here in the URL, click on Get Started, scroll down, copy this link here, head back to the file, and under our Bootstrap, go ahead and hit Paste, or Control V, and we'll go ahead and just comment this really quick. Save that, and now we have all of our resources.